Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about how to connect Oracle database table with Microsoft Visual Studio. So, and here I am using Microsoft Visual Studio. So, to connect, first we need to click at here Tools tab. Now, here after go to Connect to Database. Now, here you can find different source like Microsoft Access Database File, ODBC Data Source, SQL Server, SQL Server, Database File, and Oracle Database. So after clicking this, here you can find Oracle and OLEDB. So select add here Oracle. Now here this is the description. So uh, it's connect with the endpoint 3 8i 9i10c using .NET, .NET framework data provider. So if you want for 11c, 12c, and here 80c. So for this we need to click this link. So let's click that link. Okay, so it will automatically move to Oracle site. So add here, oh, it's so open. Add here, you can find, let's cancel that one. So add here Oracle and Visual Studio. Click now here. So to connect Oracle with Microsoft Visual Studio, so first we need to download and install Oracle. So add here step one, click here. So to download 30 bit Oracle Data Access component. So add here this is Oracle full form Oracle Data Access component. So by using all this software, so we can connect Oracle with Visual Studio. And here or oh, this is the link step click for 32 bit and here you can find this all the steps here. So suppose if I click at here on this link, okay. So if you are using community, so you should click this link. And here you can find Oracle. So Oracle, Oracle with Oracle Data, Oracle Developer Tools for Visual Studio. Now here you can find the Oracle 18.3, see 23 number here. It's a downloaded. Now here, after that, you should only accept the license and click on download button. So after clicking download button, so add here, you need to sign in on Oracle site. So give the username, password. If you already have the account, if you don't have, then here from here, you can create the account. After that, you can download the software. Okay, so this software that I already downloaded. So this is the software ODT with ODEC 18.183. So you need to do first extraction. Right click here after extract and click on extract. So after extraction, you can find this uh, at your setup file. So let's uh, click at here this setup file. It will take some time to install ODEC. At here, this is the step for available language so if you are familiar with Arabic you can select Arabic or if you are familiar with French German click you can select here so this is the language selection select here after click then this language will come to the selected language so I think English is grouped so here after let's click on next now here this is the use or exiting Windows account here create so I'm not going to create here. So use Windows account. Now let's click on. And here after this will install in C app client Adam. Okay. C app client Adam product 18 client 1. So let's click on next again. And here after. So here you can find on data Oracle data provider for .NET, ASP.NET, OLEDB and Visual Studio, all those things. Now, here after click on next again. So, add here, please uh, close the Visual Studio 2017 before produce. Okay, it's asking to close. So, I'm going to close that. Now, here after click on OK. Now, here after again click next. Now here after click next again. So I'm going to give add here connection alias add here Oracle. Oracle and here DB. Port number 15 
to one database host name that is add your local host now here after database service name so currently i am using add your oracle 11c so for oracle 11c you have to keep or share but if you are using 10 or 10z okay then you have to keep xc so i am going to keep add here o r c l now here after click on next so add here verifying that target environment so perform prerequisite check so at here checking environment variable path 75% that is over. Now here after let's click on install. And here it will take some time. So now I'm going to pause the video. The installation of Oracle client was successful. So at here ODEC 18C release. So it's installed successful. Now here after let's click on close. Now here after the next step is let's open Visual Studio. Next step is let's go to add your tools tab and here again go to get to database. Now here so I'm going to connect with Oracle database. Now here you can find so this time or two extra data provided that added. First is otp.net manage driver and here on manage driver so first i'm going to select this one so add here by using this use this selection to connect oracle database using odp.net managed driver now here after click on connect now here after we need to fill this all form so add here use windows integrated environment and here after so let's connect going to connect with a scott schema right at here at scott and here give the password now here connection tab so here you can select anyone so this time going to select at here t and s now here after data source name so by default it's a selected oracle db now here after we need to click add here test connection so add here the test connection successful now here after if you want to go advanced here you can find metadata pooling connection and here this all those things now click on ok and here after ok now here after let's go to server explorer and here a called oracle db now here you can go table so at here uh, we have three different table relational table xml object so if i click on relational table so at here of uh, four or uh, tables inside a called it's all come there now if you click double click at your dpd table so at here you can find the record inside dpd table here now here after you can find employee emp table record inside so whatever the re tables record inside oracle it's now come inside microsoft visual studio by using odex now here after let's do one more thing going to connect database and here after let's do change oracle now i was used managed driver now this time going to use unmanaged driver click on ok now here after again you get this so add here this time going to use add here hr give the password and i was used add here or dns or you can use add here ez connect so if you uh, give add here ez connect so the host name that is local host and your port name so if you are using 
11.3 you should keep 1.21 and your next you should keep at your database service name over here test connection it's ok now here after click on ok so here you can find HR schema now it's a connected go to relational now here you can find countries table record inside Microsoft Visual Studio so this is the way we can connect Oracle database table or we can import Oracle tables inside Microsoft Visual Studio so I hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you